Today is the 45th anniversary of the moon landing, an event that followed years of training and preparation and a three-day trip of 240,000 miles. Craig Adams joins us now with more on this. Craig. Craig, this historic event was seen on television by about a half a billion people worldwide. What they saw is considered the biggest achievement ever in space exploration. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It was the summer of 69 when astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin took some of the biggest steps ever known to mankind. Today, more than four decades ago, we look back on what made it happen at the time that it did. The Cold War was the perfect storm because the country could marshal the enormous resources necessary to push the space pro program forward very quickly. <laughs> Armstrong is on the moon. Neil Armstrong, 38-year-old American standing on the surface of the moon. It was an exciting time as folks from all over the country and the entire world for that matter were glued to TV sets watching it happen. Fast forward to today and it appears that time has taken its toll. Do you remember what year we landed on the moon? No, I don't. July 20th, 1969. Does it ring a bell? Kent State. Can you tell me what year we landed on the moon? <laughs> um... I'm just guessing. I think it was 66. You're close. Okay. Do you remember what year we landed on the moon? You know what? <laughs> you know what year we landed on the moon? No. I think there are a lot of people that are aware, but we're talking about kids every day that we have to educate who don't know that we've actually been to the moon and uh, it, because it's been a long time. It may be hard to imagine, but the technology that went into landing on the moon, there was less on the Apollo capsule than what we have in our cell phones today. Return to the moon someday? It's certainly possible. And perhaps if we do, a whole new generation will get to marvel over how we went to the moon. Now, interestingly enough, to go back to the moon now, it would take several years to build the rockets and the lunar landing vehicles. And of course, not to mention all the various planning and program structure that would need to be implemented to make it all happen again. It's amazing how many people it does take to make that project work. And it's hard to imagine it's been 45 years. Yeah, it's been a while. My memory of it is being in the living room. My mother was ironing clothes and that image was on television. Well, I remember my parents uh, grabbing me as a very young child saying, come on in here, you've got to see this. This yeah. is going to be something you'll always remember. And we're glad they did that yeah. for us. Yeah. Thanks, Greg. We'll see you later on.